Hello everyone, this is Doom Matt playing another Let's Play of Soma, and I know it's been a while since I did this game, and it just took me a while to get to it, I mean, just, there's lots of things going on, fair, I try recording this now, and just so I can get done with it, I'm gonna try to do as many recordings as I can, I um, doubt I'll be able to finish recording the whole game today, but I'm gonna try to push out however many recordings I can today. And let's just see how that goes. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I know we were down at the Ark, and that was in the Theta Lab, the Theta Building, which I still have the graphics dumbed down because it's still part of this big area. It's just very demanding, so I know I probably should have started this up sooner because I don't have to load this. So I don't have to load the level, but. Uh, I know once I get past this, I'll be able to bump up the graphics up again. It's just this one area is so massively huge and so much details. It's just. Like Subnautica, I've played Subnautica on my own time. I won't do a recording of that just because I can play it on my computer fine. I doubt I'll be able to do a recording on that. Plus, Subnautica is a really nice game to watch. It's more amazing to play yourself. But it's almost a really amazing game to play yourself too. I am still going to go through it. I still have plans to go through it on my own time to do everything else but because right now I'm just doing save everyone kind of thing and don't touch the goopy things as, as long as I have that option also I just still feel really bad for killing a little robot that was robot was too cute but for me to go down that path of letting everybody live even though the conscience is still technically alive <sighs> that was that was rough. That's not why I stopped. Just just a lot of things going on in life, and I had to take a break from you know the scary game kind of thing. I think after this one, I'll probably do to the moon and just do a straight recording of that one. As many episodes as it takes to get done with that one. Hopefully, it's not too long. And. I'll probably go back to Doom 3 and then record another game in between that one and have another one going just to balance out the horror and non horror thing. I do plan on going back to Boar and it's Bob. I do plan to. It's just going to take some time to get recordings done. Yeah, some days I record and some days I don't record. This all depends what's going on. I do enough recordings to where there's like not nothing going up though. So. Uh we'll see how that goes. There's lots of things going on. Alright, but anybody continue. Alright, now we gotta let the whole level load since we'll sit like this for like a few seconds, but you know, that's just how things go, how recordings go. Don't want to move too quick because I know the level's still loading, and then there may be a water part after this, which if it's still connected into Theta Lab and its own loading screen section, then that's gonna load too. So it's a lot of loading. I think it's. Good. Alright. So we ran the simulation. That's flashlight. That's crouch. That's run. Okay. So if I remember right, we did the simulation, we did the scan thing, we found out that we are in a female's body. I forgot who the name was, but we are. I think now, I think I did I grab my 
thing. Yes, I did. I don't have to put it back in, right? Nope. Oh. Ah. Again, if the graphics don't look that great or anything, it's just because this one area. Hopefully, I can pick it back up after this. Hopefully, I'm not picking it back up when I'm going to be running for my life or something. Cause that'd be a rough way to come back into this. Didn't scan. That's that's weird. What am I supposed to be doing? Shit. Is that an ejector marker? Or something? I I don't even know what the ejector. Just my luck. I'm picking right back off in a horror spot. I hope I don't die from doing that. Oh, you're alive. Okay, can I can I borrow your computer, please? Please don't get me. Please. Terra Acres, A66 Mel. One of the worst cases I've seen, and most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structured gel. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Did, he, did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lombada. Could it really be that the Wahoo is somehow able to change and rebuild the human? I think it's with the human or something like that. But that's a hard age 28 sex female. Hard appears to be in good considering the circumstances. Only bruising and mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story as she is the only one to return. Catherine Chun, age 36, sex female. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Stromano demands another evaluation. Oh, that better not get me near me. Chun isn't obscene or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if she can avoid it. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character, the perfect victim to be demured and pushed around by others. She is a scared mouse I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. Guy Croden, age 41, sex male. Croden is dead. He boiled his brain to cope with a W rim master following the ARC neuroscan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing himself to take his place on the ARC. Can you, can you stop making noises, please? How do I know it's safe? Hopefully it can't open things up. So we got lots of death. Okay. Considering it's 
So it says something about they're eating the jail. I'm thinking that's all this goose. So, so for whatever reason, this person thought it was a good idea to eat the liquid. But it could also have been from one of the cunts knew and he just wanted to kill himself. I thought that'd be a, a good way to go about it. The reason I open something is I'm trying to hear wherever this thing is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to be closing these things. I'm probably going to die a few times. Because I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing or looking for. Noises freak me out. Uh, me downstairs, the show. What side are you on? Oh, it's right near me. I hear the static. Please be going away. They stopped moving. Whatever it is, it stopped moving. And it's near me. I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Acres and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll find them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like shaking at us? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Sure about this. I don't plan to die today, sir. See you in the show. Okay. So what I learned from that is whatever this thing is here goes on by sound. Which is really good to know. Acres is not alone, at least parks are enemy creatures. Check and see doors. Move downstairs, shutter to Omicron. Checklist Survive, Survey the Ark Project. Stop people from killing themselves. Send off and the team. Keep people safe. Enjoy the rest of Armageddon. So this looks like a little clip again, for some reason. Security message. Alert. Dispatch. November 17, 2103. Corrupt. Another alert. And corrupt. Another alert. And the shuttle station. Corrupt. Another alert. Last one says alert. Machine hangar. January 11, 2104. 
Huge structure leak gel has caused Wyo to seize control over the Dunbat. Forced a quarantine to avoid further development. Last thing we need is another talking machine. Which we didn't know that. No chip inserted, so we need to get a chip. Override door lock. System limits active. Remaining resource. Oh. So what I'm going to do... I think I need to lock down areas. Now, if I lock down an area, that would make my life easier. The best solution is to lock that thing in one of the rooms. Because we... Okay, so where are we at compared to everything else? We went down that way, that's that double room. This is where we're at. So I'm gonna lock down my area. Okay, so my area is perfectly safe. I'm assuming it can't break into the room, so I can use this map to read things. Okay, yeah, so we went through the medical laboratory, then we went up. We're either in security checkpoint or we're in Arca, but that door just turned red, so that means we are in the security. So we are in the security. There's a conference room, payload, so we've been the examination and the office, so we can lock those two down. Okay. So we've been in the examination, we've been in that room, we've been in that room. We got conference room, we got payload design, we got storage, chasing, and Omega's manager. Alright, so there's that thing. They want to get in me, but it can't get me. I locked the door. This is gonna be playing cat and mouse with this. I need to get it in a room. If I get in a room and lock it in there, I'm I'm done with dealing with this thing. Which I think I can lock it in a room. Rocking back. Well, I don't want to lo unlock this room. I think that's where I need to go. I don't need that thing in there. Storage we haven't been into. This room we can't lock for the reason. I want to explore these other areas, but these doors here, I need to have it lowered in there. So I'm going to unlock these. Open, I'm going to open these doors, open these doors. And then I'm going to lock. Sound like it goes over there. Mm -hmm. 
No, I keep hearing it over here. I heard your footsteps. And so I'm thinking if I lock it in that room, I should be fine. It should stay in there. I'm assuming. We don't know how true that is. Wish there was like a camera feed or something. Because I want to explore all these other areas. If I can trap it, if that's actually a thing you can do. Obviously, examination would be the best room or the office because then it seals it off just there and it's not an in between passageway. So it looks like that's a sealed off door and a sealed off door, and there's just this long hallway and that's the way around. Assuming that's sealed off. I didn't look, but I'm just, no, I think it's open because I came out, I went that way, and I saw that was open, but I went this way instead. I just gotta figure out where it's at right now. So. I have all these. Okay, so we need to seal off. Let's seal off the areas we aren't gonna go into. That's those two and storage. That way it's just these three open. And we just need to lower it into one of these areas. Because it will walk towards noise. Okay, so I unlocked my area. I need to lock my area. Now I could have a trap. And I went quiet for a bit. There's a possibility I have it trapped. If it's trapped in one of those three rooms, it works perfect. Assuming it can't get out. All we are saying is assuming is because of this vent. It looks like it could bust out. But I doubt that's a mechanic it can do at this point. So I want to unlock my area, just my area, and just hope.
for the mess. It's locked up. I don't think it's locked up. Check everywhere. I can't take the chance. It's not locked up. I hear movement in the vent. I've been just about everywhere. It looks like I got it locked up. I'm gonna put mines on lockdown just in case. So it's in one of these rooms. So we should be able to unlock that area in the Unicron. And this store. And this store. Because this one should be somewhere here. So I haven't unlocked mine. But don't wanna take that chance it gets out. I hear it. Wait, did it get locked up in the one of the rooms I just unlocked? I hear it walking. Huh? Was it in one of the rooms I just unlocked? Or does it escape through the vent? Or is it just making noise to make noise to freak me out? No, it's, it's out. So we know it's there, so let's lock this down, this down. Lock those down. I think if I loop my way around, go up, open this door, then close it, then open this door. And close it.
trying I'm trying to lock it down. And I close that door. I open and close it because I think it's attracted by sound. And I close that one door just so I can tell if it's there or not. I also don't know how good of a sound it is. It's coming back this way. So I want to explore everything. And this thing makes it hard. There has to be a reason you can lock down areas. Because it knows I'm in this room, but it can't get to me. But there also is no vents. Also, I don't even know where it went. So you got doctor's office went there. There's conference room. J. Davis and N. is Fiskin. Omega management, Pearson, Strange, Wolchan, and Chun. And we saw a person's body there. Because we came from this corridor. There's a room there and room these. These rooms I know we should check. I just need to see if I can get rid of this thing. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Because I've seen... I've seen people... Play this, and... Their instinct is to run, find everything... Don't read everything, and... But I've never seen anyone actually try to trap it. Or they... Nor talk about if they can do that. Go, go in that room. Why won't you go in that room? Did you come over because I was making noise? Let me try something. I had it closed where I was nearby, and uh, which closes the doors, and I have it unlocked.
Why? 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 Why is this thing fighting me on this? Because it has to be a thing. They wouldn't give you these locked things. They can lock rooms down just to free up that room. It just seems ideal so you can trap the thing. Or maybe it just always gets out. But I, d I can't confirm that. I can't confirm that's a thing or not because it's just I've never heard of anyone doing it or seeing it. I know I got this torn vent, but that could just be part of the uh, atmosphere kind of thing. Doesn't mean it actually can't get out. And I probably did have it trapped that one time. It was probably trapped in storage or in this room or in that room. And I just happened to trap it. The thing is, we don't got cameras in this game. Like for whatever reason, with all this technology they got, you can't just... You can't just like look to see hey, if it's there or where it's at or it's in this hallway. No, you literally have to walk out there, which makes this more harder. But I have a feeling you can trap it. Now, I'm not sure if it keeps wandering in this hallway because it knows I'm here. Because I know it's in the hallways, I don't want it to go in these areas. Like these areas, I don't care if it goes into. We've already explored those areas. I haven't touched these or these. It can't. Lock that because that's just torn open. But it's just, it just makes sense that you can lock it up. But you have to trap it. The only way you can trap it and get out of is examination and medical examination you can like confirm it's there because you got a window here you can see out of because if I can trap it that makes this easier I would prefer to trap it here and not there because you got that sealed room because the only way around is through here and around here but then it's a straight shot to security room which if it's chasing you it's a straight shot to there and you gotta close it and run to this computer to try to lock it without it opening it on you if it's that close. What's something I can throw? I'm gonna try something. Is everything?
everything's always worked with the function by sound, by sight, by looking at it. This thing, though, I don't know if it works just by sound or if it can sound and see. That's the issue with this thing. I'm trying to see if we can open a door. I'm wondering if I unlock that door, but open that door, chunk a chair. Okay, I want to chunk another chair outside. I have these chairs out there, so I can try to throw two chairs in that room, but have that door open. So chunk one chair there. Chunk one chair in the hallway, and then chunk one in that room. And lock off my room here. Maybe I can trap it then. Thought I heard it made a step. I don't see it. Doesn't mean just because I can't see it doesn't mean it's there because you got that long hallway. And I'm sorry this episode is just like this, but. Because I know where I need to go. It's probably that room because that's the only one room that I've seen with the person. I doubt there's anything in these any of these other rooms. It's probably just more like story, which is what I want. I don't know what this thing is doing, but. So I have that out there, so all I gotta do is open that door and just chunk the chairs in it. And hope it goes for the chairs in the room. And if it does, I hope I can lock it. Because I don't want to stop recording and then y'all miss it. I potentially could edit this if it gets to that point because I might potentially edit this video normally I don't edit because it just takes too long but this episode I might edit just so that way y'all aren't stuck watching this a lot but I want to keep recording and talking like normal in case I don't edit because it works because I don't want to miss it out because if it does work then this is something that y'all should know And I'm waiting right here because I just made noise. Every time I've gone to open the door and chunk something out so far, the thing comes. I think this time, if it comes, I'm actually going to stand here because it can't get me. My door is locked. This is a sealed room. No vents whatsoever. So, supposedly I'm fine. Because I want to test to see, can it see me? As if it sees me, it'll just stand here going rah, rah, rah. Which if it does, it's gonna screw me over because I'm stuck. If it doesn't, then it means it's only by sound. Which, where is this thing at? So I sealed off all, all the areas. So it really, it could only walk this long ass route.
Yeah, because I'm locked up for everything else. So there's nowhere else that's... Well, you got the rooms there. I don't know what they are, too. Because there's so much to explore. If I did this, if I would have set this to easy. Actually. Can you change the difficulty while you're in game? Nope. As if we could, if we could just do that, I, I probably would do that, because there's so much stuff I don't want to miss. I want to think that you can lock it up in a room. Alright, so here it comes. So there it is. Now I'm standing up. Where'd it go? I just saw it. I don't know. Either this is gonna be a mistake and I die, or it won't be a mistake. Find out. <laughs> so all I gotta do is just hope it works. Because I stood up and it was facing towards, and it seems to go by sound, strictly by sound. It doesn't go by sight. So I could potentially explore everywhere, but if it comes to like a tape recorder or something, then I'm screwed. If it comes to like an office room where I could walk right into, I'm screwed because I'm right by the door. From theories where I shouldn't see me standing up. It keeps wailing. I don't know why. Hair walking around. I just don't know what it's doing. I heard him make footsteps. Because we had a monster that strictly only would attack you if you stared at it. If you turned around and looked at it and out of its walkway path, it left you alone. 
Then we had one that went by looking at you. If it didn't look, if it didn't see you, or yeah, because it went by sight, so it saw that things were moving, and things were flashing, and that one moved around. This one, I made a bunch of noise. It would come around. I'm kind of tempted to. I can't test it. Well, I can test it. I can test it and keep. I gotta lure it over here somehow. That's enough noise. So I don't need to go out there. I wish it would show itself. Like, I don't know how to get it to show itself because I also don't know how to tell where it's at. Because when I wanted to try, I prefer to try it in here. It used to come around a lot. Maybe if I chunk something out there. Uh, there's something I can... Oh wait, I got folders. Uh, okay, I gotta pull this stuff out first. I wanna see if it sees me. It's going in that room. I right, have it trapped in the room. Okay, so we have it trapped. I got lucky it got trapped in there. The question is, will it stay? That's the biggest question. Cause I know it's right at the door because I, the door was open and when you do that lock thing, it closes the door automatically for you. So it's in there. The reason it's at that door is because it's shut right behind him. Right behind it, him or her. Don't know who it is. It's somebody or something. And I can hear it clearly. And it's got the staticky going on on me. It's because it's in that room. But according to security, it's locked. The reason I haven't left yet is because of this vent. I don't know if it can climb through that vent or if it can get out. So I gotta make sure. Is it going to stay? Because I've seen, I've watched, I think maybe Jack, I think he played it. I know Mark played it. I think Mark played it for sure. They were running around trying to go through it. Obviously, you do that, you know, you're just trying to go through the game, through the story, and just see what happens real quickly. But I've never heard or seen someone try to trap this thing securely. Which, it's been two minutes, roughly, since I've trapped it. It hasn't tried to get out yet. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna unlock my room only and make noise. So 
this is right next to it. So it hears my noise very clearly. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna chunk some things out. Don't like that it went quiet on me. Doesn't mean I'm gonna open the thing. Did it get out? Is that a thing? Is it's not making noise no more? And if it can get out, then that means this won't work. Cause it's hard to tell with this thing if it can get out actually through the vents and stuff or if at some point it'll just stand still to trick you to think it got out and it wants you to go back in and look just to get killed and let it out. So I don't hear no footsteps so I'm gonna throw stuff. I hear the noises but I don't know if that's that thing. Or if it's just the game's, uh... The game's atmosphere. So I got things I'm gonna throw. And... We'll find out that way. I think it's still trapped, it's just trying to trick me. I want to say it's trapped, so we're going to go on a risk to explore just this area here, since it's an open area. That looks like a satellite launch system or an engine for some something to launch in space. Huh. Worst case would be that there's two of them. So far, nothing.
is either I'm going to die or that actually worked. I think it actually worked. I don't know. There's also that possibility it could get out, but a lot of that depends on how much noise you make. I think it got out. I think it got out. If it got out though, there's more than one. I can't I can't tell. If there's more than one, I definitely don't want to let the other one out. Nah, either got out or there's one on one. Which sucks. I was really, really hoping you could trap this thing. Alright, so I gotta go to that room. I mean, if that's gonna be the case. We'll unlock the areas we know it's not in. We'll keep that locked down still. We'll unlock everything else but that room, because. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there are two of those fuckers. And that one's just being quiet. Or it got out. But... I'm gonna keep recording. And I'll just have to edit. To that point. That sucks. I was really, really hoping I had it trapped, and nope, it got out. I don't know how it got out, but it got out. Cause I didn't, I didn't think that'd be a mechanic in the game because another, they just never shown to be able to get through things, and unless that's something the creators put in to keep this area suspenseful but I think it would have been nice to not do that and let things be trapped because it's still suspenseful because you gotta try to lure it into a room which is very hard on its own to do and then trap it and would have been nice if if you did that it wouldn't be as suspenseful but then it makes sense to let this thing get out. Because then it takes away, I guess, from part of the scare factor of trying to gather everything you need. It makes sense. But it just sucks. Either that or there are two. Because there's so much area to explore to this place. And the only way I can explore all of that is on my own playthrough and setting this to easy so I would have to set the game to, to the easy setting for me just so I can explore everything to find out more what's going on because the way things stand is these monsters can kill me and if I try to explore everything and I'll be dying a lot over and over getting cornered or something I'm gonna keep that room trapped because maybe there is one in there I'm gonna throw stuff out Maybe the game is just messing with it. Maybe it didn't get out. Maybe it's just... Because I walked everywhere.
So I think I can get it, but it just sucks. What else can I throw? Uh, not the light. I forgot to check these cabinets. Huh, it's locked. Check out the conference room. Explore there. Go to J. Davis and explore there. Storage room, just gonna unlock. I don't think there's anything worth exploring there. Is it out? Yeah, it is out. Hey. Stupid. try to explore as much as I can. I think what I'm going to do is open every single door. Open that door, open this door, open that door. And then come back here. So I might as well just... So I'm afraid to unlock that, because what if there is two, and I just happen to trap one? Also, I know that these hash out areas are areas you can't go, so there's nothing there, there's nothing over there. That's just a hallway. That's just a way to loop around. That's another way to loop around, loop around. So I don't need that loop around, because I don't want to unlock that, because what if there is two? Because this is a big area. What if I do have one trap? So my goal is to unlock that door. Go through, unlock this door. Unlock this door. And then slowly explore that, explore that, then go in there. <sighs> yeah. And it just went away. I hear it walking. And it's hard to tell where it's walking at, because there's that hallway, and then there's that corridor loop around thing. If I could... I just wish I could trap it. Because why would that be a mechanic? To lock things. Notice these are all people's names crossed out. Lansky's as masters, Noster, Fukurium. Now that would look better if I had the settings more up, but... When it comes to monsters, and chase, and running, and everything... I have to have it lowered down, just to make things easier. Alright, so we're gonna... Alright. I'm gonna do something, I might regret it. It's unlock that.
The storage didn't look like it had anything. It just looked like a storage with one of those things to touch. Just like the one that's over here to touch. I think storage does nothing. And the office of the doctor is not worth keeping open. Because we explored there so that we don't actually open that. And medical, there's nothing in there. So really I should just have these closed off and have these open because these are the only things I haven't explored and there's loop arounds. I mean that's a long hallway but there are loop arounds that I can use. So just wish I knew where this thing was at. I'll keep that open. I kinda don't want to. Cause I'm afraid, like, what if I'm right? What if that thing is trapped? And right now it's... It can't open doors or something, or it doesn't want me to think it's there. And then there's this is actually two. That would suck, because what if there was just one and we trapped one on at least a second one, and then if I leave that in the lock, then it has two patrolling. That would suck. <sighs> Alright. So I'm going to wait for it to come back. Then when it goes away... I'll use that as an opportunity to go through everything. It sounds like I'm using that hallway. And then it's walking this way. It's walking somewhere. I don't know. I don't know, but we want to do this. Otherwise, I'm just going to be sitting here all the time. They seem to show what people turn into. Too much sound, I'm fine. Survival of the fittest. Heard a rocking outside the door.
unfortunately, this is like the only best hiding spot. Is right here. No, 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 don't fall. Don't hear it. I don't hear it or see it. Might have heard that. I think it goes by sound, because I stood up right in front of outside the window that I can see through. It's done nothing to me. I think if I move or touch anything right now, it will come in this room. Because it's just outside this room, literally to my left, in that hallway. Brandon won. I'm sorry about before, Brandon. I'm sorry we couldn't let you rest in peace. Shh, shut up, dude. Why would you talk when we got an alien to deal with? What is this? Like a space station, but look like a satellite stuff. Possibly on the moon? Potentially. So we gotta take that back to the room. It's on the other side.
do that first. Throw that in there. Alright, panel chip connector, security keys, ah, uh, permission standard status. Alright, update. Okay, so it's updated. Chips ready for use. I think the next step, yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this because it's gonna be a long one, is to use it on the elevator. Can't move because it's outside my room. At least for now. I don't know if it's gonna go away or not. Maybe it's protected by light too? I don't know. Oh, it's going away. So all I gotta do is turn on the elevator, call it, and then maybe even head back here. And maybe maybe head back here. If I gotta wait for the elevator, I might as well just come back here and lock myself in and wait for the elevator to come back. So yeah, this episode's gonna get a lot of editing. So. Unlock that room for you. It seems very fixated on me, but it also could be just part of the programming because sometimes if you pick up key things or do key things, it'll trigger the monster to come near you and be around you a lot more just to get the atmosphere and height picked up, like in the Doom game. Not the Doom 3 that I'm playing, but the. The one that's getting the series started up again. The 2016 one. Not the Doom Eternal one that's coming out, which I'm really looking forward to. But in that Doom, you can create levels, and if you. You can select pushing a button, you can select opening a door or something, or picking up an object, or activating something to be the key trigger to spawn enemies and lead you in a trap or something. And. That might be the case here, like me getting that kind of got that thing a little more antsy, triggered the lights going off as I was walking with it. Yeah, this thing's like constantly around me now. And it's just like doing this security cipher, maybe doing that triggers it to come over here now. Like maybe it's a straight run to the elevator now kind of deal. That's always a possibility. Obviously, yeah, I'm stalling because I'm trying to see when this guy's gonna go away. I can't, I can't unlock my door right now because it's either outside my door or it doesn't go far enough for me to get away from it. Cause it's done this twice, gone that way. But it could be one of those functions that just it triggers it to make you run towards the elevator. And luckily, I explored just about all I can. I didn't explore the storage area because just looked like that was just for the goo. Which obviously, when I do my own playthrough for the goo, I might as well just set it to where I can't die. Because it'd be too hard to get them all without dying here and repeat over and over again. And to see what happens when I do that is just important. And you look weird and creepy. So you must have been a human at some point because it has a bone structure of a human. But this thing is just there. 
is like right there. I'm waiting for it to go away. And I don't know how to get this thing to go away, because that's, that's an issue. Because I can't unlock my door if it keeps coming around. So, I mean, it's a good mechanic that, hey, you trigger this, you do this, it triggers the lights, hey, you come over here, and you close your room, and you do the chip thing, it triggers this thing to come around. But then it gets annoying, because now you gotta try to get out without dying. And it keeps coming back and forth. But I think that hallway is open, because I don't remember going through the door, so I just gotta... It could be just a run around for it thing. Oh, wait, wait. Alright, it's in there. I'm not running because everything's telling me not to run for this. No, oh, not that. Okay, shut up. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh. away from that thing. Ugh. I'm like, that's not clear that I'm supposed to pull those levers and then close the panel and lock it. You know I was supposed to do that. That was just inserted and hey, you go in. Oh, we gotta do all that. Luckily I trapped it. Trapping it slowed it down a lot. So, trap, you can trap it. It gets it out still, but it slows it down a lot. It makes things more easier to explore and do. Oh, hey, look, the typical elevator gets stuck or fall sequence. Yay. All right, come on. Drop something. Monster, come attack me. The typical thing of an elevator sequence. Now, these, these things aren't scary. I don't know why they do it no more. It's it's just not scary no more, these elevator sequences. They, they literally suck. And then just like, okay, so what do I got to do? What's going to make it trigger? It's gonna make it fall. Oh. Elevator hatch. And typical elevator's gonna fall on me or some stupid sh Yep, oh, the fall is something stupid because you lose the handle on one bar. Well, what, it's gonna like fall towards me or something? Typically how that goes. Uh. 
That's all in the episode here, so... I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Thank you for putting up with me trying to trap that thing, so... Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.